Well, schools in the Comox Valley are searching out alternative energy options, and one elementary school is making the switch to solar power. Hugh Bend Park Elementary School won a recent district-wide green challenge, and the prize was a set of solar panels. So now the school is shrinking its electricity bill and expanding its environmental knowledge. A News reporter Steve Coulterman has the story. It's been a long time in the making, but finally, Huban Park Elementary School is unveiling its 3,500-watt solar power system. The celebration continues inside as the switch is flipped. Solar energy is one of those uh, sources of energy that has basically zero emissions. It has no moving parts, so it's a perfect green choice for energy, and so that's why we selected it, and also to look into the future, because we know the students are the future of our community. Not only will Huban Park Elementary School be saving $600 on a yearly basis thanks to their new solar panels, they're also using it as an educational tool for their students. This is the solar panel, and it charges this and this is our monitor for the solar panels up on the roof. We get all our light for this one from out there that it comes through all our glass. And you can, today's total so far is 622 watt hours. When we talk about um, students and projects, we like them to have an opportunity to have applied learning. And what better to have a project that not only benefits the district, certainly in terms of its greenness, and uh, brings together not only the staff that we've generated as a district, but also all the students and staff on something that they can take in a very common direction. The Environmental Club tracks the school's energy use every day. The students have discovered that the 16 panels provide enough power to run all 36 computers in this classroom. At 12 o'clock it's usually the most because the sun's straight above and it's um, getting the most sunlight. We do it because I guess we like learning new stuff and we just like helping the environment. Charted down how much carbon dioxide in kilograms has been avoided and the most is 137. These students also have plans for the future. I hope that in the future we can get lots more solar panels. Yeah. And run eventually and off of just the sun's energy in this school. In Courtney, Steve Coulterman, A News.